do a unboxing video of this backpack by Tropic Feel, which is the shell backpack. Um, I ordered this on Kickstarter like several months ago and have been patiently waiting for its arrival and now it's finally here and I thought I would show you guys if you're interested, you know. Um, so I saw this backpack, I guess I first saw it on Instagram and it was like advertised as a really versatile backpack that um, can be used for like lots of different circumstances. Um, I'll link the video below that kind of goes over everything. If you're interested, it's probably better than me trying to explain it. And I am struggling with figuring out how to open this. Or all of it. Oh, there we go. you to organize um, your clothing and keep it in just a tidy way. Um, I'll, like, you just watch the video, like their video explains it really well. And, and by the video I mean like their video, Tropic Feels video. Um, also a laundry bag, um, that's good for storing like Dirty laundry, I don't know. It's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Going to open this one first. Here's what it looks like. It's, the material is really, really sturdy. Um, like it would it would hold up with a lot of travel um, in the front here we have these um, like clips I guess that open to like the top portion of the backpack um, but then also um, there's like a feature here where you can open it completely like that, which is nice. Um, there's also a laptop sleeve, and the back here is like really sturdy, so I'm really satisfied with that because you know, like sometimes backpacks that I have, like there's no support to the back of it, so it kind of just like, slumps over and never keeps upright. So I really, I really like this. And then there's two separate pouches here. I guess you can store cords or know, whatever next to here. Um, in addition, there's a like top zipper for I guess like easy access stuff, which is also convenient. And then there's these straps here that keep the um, the shoulder straps in, um, in case you're using it to carry like sideways or whatever. But I also think that there's supposed to be a hidden pocket on the 
side, potentially. Oh yeah, right here. So there's one here, so hidden that even I had to look for it and I knew it was there. But yeah, they say that this is a good place for you to store your uh, passport. And it's pretty roomy, a lot roomier than I thought it was going to be. I can probably stick, like it's like the size of like this. So, um, and also on the bottom, this pulls out if you want to store dirty shoes, I guess. So cool. And all the material just seems really well made. I'm gonna try like packing things up into it and see how much I can fit into it later. Um, and I also wanna try out this toiletry bag. Um, so it has these clips that attach to the front of the backpack, so let's put this on and see. Oh, that attached super easily. I didn't really have to do anything, just laid it there. And then it should be like pretty sturdy, like I'm trying to pull it off. And the only way you can take it off is if you pull up on these at the same time. And then they just unlatch. So that's really nice. A plus on that one. I'm struggling. Okay, here we go. So I wanted to see what it looked like whenever um, it was open. It is opened. I don't know why I was talking past tense there. Okay. So there's like this hook you can hang up in your... Um, in your bathroom, hostel, wherever you are. Um, there's several pockets here. Um, there's like four total. So two bigger ones in the back and then two that are just right in front of that one. And then on the bottom here, there's a zipper pocket. That's really nice. And so this was advertised as the toiletry bag but honestly I think I might use it like interchangeably between toiletry stuff and tent stuff um I I don't think I mean I think that it would do well either way because you know there's just different compartments which is mainly what people are uh, looking for compartments I don't know I don't know what I'm saying Okay, I'm going to go ahead and look at the um, wardrobe system, which I'm very, very, very excited for. out accordion style I guess you could call it and um, and these straps loosen um so to see what they look what it looks like fully extended here it is um we have two um, zipper compartments on the top. Um, I think this would be a great place to store like um, undergarments and stuff in one or like socks or um, like swimsuits or something in, in the other one. And then there's like a big open space. Um, and then there's this other compartment with a lot of little like dividers, which I feel like is really well made. Um, and it looks pretty, pretty great in my opinion really sturdy um, and 
later I'm going to pack some clothes into it and see how it fits into the backpack. So stay tuned for that. The last thing that I want to open is this. This is just the laundry bag. Um, I, I got it as an add-on um, with a backpack. It didn't, it didn't come with it. Actually, the wardrobe and the uh, toiletry pouch were also add-ons. Seems pretty simple. It's just a mesh bag um, that has a drawstring on it, so you can hold it like this. Um, seems really simple, but I mean, just for laundry, that's kind of all all you really need. And it's cool that it's mesh because then it's breathable. You know, sometimes you're traveling and clothes get a little bit stinky, so it's nice that they can air out or whatever um, in this bag. So overall. I'm really satisfied. I was a little bit disappointed with like um, the kind of lack of communication between Tropic Fuel and their backers since people did, um, you know, like it was like a big advent investment. Um, but I'm not too upset because I know they were doing the best that they could. Um, and I, I received it even though I never received a tracking number, but you know, it's here, so can't really complain um, and it's perfect timing because tomorrow I'm going on a camp well not tomorrow but two days from now I'm going on a camping trip and I'll be hammock camping which I'm really excited to do for the first time and so I get to test this out um, break it in you know um, and there's that I'll see you once I'm to pack things into it and I'll give you a tour of that. Bye! Hi! So I'm currently packing um, my toiletries for the camping trip that we're going to be on and I thought I would show what it looks like once it's all inside the toiletry bag of trop Tropic Feel. Um, so I'm going to get this all organized and then I'll see you once it's all in the bag. Bye! Here we go. So this is all kind of roughly thrown in here. Um, I got my shampoo and conditioner bottles in these two pouches and um, just a couple of extra things in here. I might change the layout later, but just for now, like this definitely works. Got some deodorant in here and then moisturizer and my toothbrush. Um, this size is like, it's a pretty, um, it's pretty wide. So it fit like my entire toothbrush um, and it fit really easily and so I'm just going to zip this up and attach it to the front of the bag. Here it is attached to the front of the bag. It feels really secure so I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack some of these clothes that I've laid out into the bag. Um, I honestly don't have a whole lot of stuff that I'm packing clothing wise because we're only going to be there for a day. And then we'll be spending the night and then driving home in the morning um, to make it back home in time for church service. Um, over here is uh, my hammock camping setup. So maybe I'll, I'll show you guys that potentially at the campsite. Um, so this pile of clothes I'm actually going to be wearing on Saturday, but I want to see how much I can fit um in inside of the wardrobe and I'm sure all this will fit in there easily but I just want to see what it looks like a little bit like more full um so I'm just gonna pack it in anyways even though I'll be wearing it hey so after packing everything I realized I definitely did not need all that space so I just decided to stick to the top two compartments and just leave this kind of compressed like this. Um, I ended up putting like my jeans, leggings, and then two sweatshirts in this compartment. And obviously like if I were to be traveling somewhere where I would need to bring more items of clothing, like if I were going on a trip for longer, I would not be bringing these big bulky items. But because it's, the weather's a bit um, cooler now and because I can afford the space like if I didn't have this like it would be completely empty um so I kind of just packed it to make it look fuller 
Um, but if I were not in this situation, like I, I would not do this and I'd be able to bring a lot more, um, pieces of, pieces of clothing. Um, so to fit like the rest of this stuff, I packed, um, my like undergarments and socks and stuff in this entire compartment, um, which is actually like pretty roomy, um, and then on the other side I just have like shorts and then like a tank top and a little t-shirt thing. Um, and I'm going to compress it. I know it's only two compartments, but I still want to try to use this feature on this side and see how tightly um, and compact it gets. So I will see you after that and I'll put it in the bag and we'll see how it goes. All right, so it compacted quite a bit. It's um, like, seems to be really tight. Um, and I think it's gonna fit nicely inside of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it fully and then take a look at what it looks like. One of the things that I wanted to know is that I really like the design of the zippers. Um, I like that it has a loop so you can just loop your finger through and pull it up um, rather than having to like grip something and pull it because you know if you're trying to zip up things that are maybe a little heavier packed um having something nice and sturdy that is able to withstand force um is really nice and it has like this rubber coating around it that just provides comfort for your finger Hi, so I have fully packed it up um, for the trip and I have to say I am really satisfied. I really love it um, so much already and I haven't even like used it yet so we'll see how it holds up. But just to give you like a quick like rundown I guess, I ended up opening the extendable kangaroo pouch um, to fit some shoes, um, tennis shoes in here and I, I just love the fact that it keeps your um shoes separate from the rest of your clothes um you know because shoes can get dirty and whatever but um yeah so these just fit um really well and I mean I think that my feet are not as like big as you know some guys or even just like women who have who are like taller you know like they their shoes might be larger so it might be a little bit like more snug for them to fit um like shoes in here but for me like it was perfectly fine and I actually even think I have a little bit of room to spare um as you can see on the side here I have stuffed my um, hydro flask in here it was quite snug I had the wardrobe system in it um so it's it was really stiff and I kind of had to like maneuver it in there but I mean I, I'm not too worried. It seems pretty secure. The only thing is that this material seems like it may stretch out over time. So once it gets a little bit bigger, I don't know how, like, how well it'll hold up with this bottle. I might have to switch to something bigger so that it's, you know, more snug. Um, on this side, I just have the laundry pouch um, in, in there. Nothing really too exciting. Um, as you can see, I have this, um, I've shown that already, and I guess I can show what it looks like opened, so I'm going to lay this down this way. Sorry, I have some cord rope here for my tent setup, or my tarp setup, excuse me. Um, this is kind of really bad filming, I apologize. But yeah, so this opens open, like, and lays flat. This opens open. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I can't words right now. But, yeah, so this has compressed really nicely. I had room here and even a little extra room I feel like if I wanted to squeeze a few more things in here but I have my hammock which this is a you know double nest so it's even like larger than um like a one man obviously 
Um, and this padding material is really, really nice. And that's pretty much it um, for now. Whenever I go on longer trips, I'll be packing more things and possibly like my laptop too. So kind of interested to see how that's going to turn out. Oh, one other cool feature is that there are these like elastic bands on the bottom here. Like if I were to want to um, attach like a towel or even I feel like this would strap on nicely to the bottom, you know, just for some extra, extra room. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm excited to take it on the trip, see how it goes. It's only for, um, a day and a night. Um, but yeah, we'll just break it in and Uh, yeah, super stoked for this. Okay, see y'all later. To end the video, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when the backpack was on and like fully secure. Um, as you can see, I have like the hip strap and the like chest strap on right now. Um, and it feels really sturdy. So to give you a view of the back oh gosh <laughs> um yeah i have my towel and my rope connected um and i have a lot of stuff in it and it's been holding up really well so overall i seriously would recommend it um if you will be using it a lot obviously kind of investment i would say but to those of you who also backed the Kickstarter on Tropic Feel, I hope you guys receive your backpack soon, if you haven't already, and happy traveling! Bye!